It's mailbag time here on Seahawks today. A lot of excitement about the guy to my left. Am I pointing at him in the right direction? Oh, there we go. Uh, Jake Bobo and what he is doing for the Seattle Seahawks. I'm sure we got some questions uh, on Jake Bobo that we will answer coming up in a matter of moments. Uh, here on this mailbag edition of Seahawks today where you guys send us questions on our live shows that we do on Wednesdays. We answer them, react to them in, in real time whether it's Super Chats or people using the hashtag Seahawks. Let's get after it begin with this first question from Hawkpocalypse himself with a $2 Super Chat writing, How about Jake Bobo at tight end? Hashtag Hawkpocalypse. The Hawkpocalypse is alive and well, folks. Uh, as far as Jake Bobo at tight end goes, so in theory, it sounds like it would potentially make sense, right? A slower guy that's got good hands. And that's a pretty good pass blocker. It sounds like it makes sense, right? But one problem, Jake Povo is not built like a tight end. He would be way undersized uh, for the position. Uh, about, what, 30, 40 pounds too light to play tight end? So Jake Povo, I think his role is going to increase as the season goes along. And we'll see what the Seahawks do with D. Eskridge in that situation. But I think there's no reason why Jake can't be like your number four wide receiver. I don't think he's going to be a tight end ever just because he doesn't have the size for it. But all I've been hearing about is more Bobo. And the more Bobo movement is on. And the more Bobo movement, I think, took a huge step in the right direction when he got his first touchdown catch last week. If you haven't seen it yet, go check out the NFL Films clip of Geno and Jake Bobo when that touchdown happened. It was pretty cool. You want more Jake Bobo? Of course you want more Jake Bobo. Spam more Bobo in the comments section. Give me at least 200 comments with the more Bobo movement. If the more Bobo movement is real, prove it to me right now. Steve John writes in, should Clint Hurt be coaching down the field instead of in the booth? It's an interesting idea, but... Every assistant coach is different. I don't think that there is a right or wrong answer because we've seen at both the NFL and the college level coaches be successful doing both avenues of choice. So I, I don't think that's the concern of why Clint Hurt is not doing a good job as defensive coordinator and not calling uh, the right plays and putting this team in the best position defensively. I don't think it has to do with where he's at on the field, quite frankly, because we've seen it work from both sides. So with that said, maybe you try something different moving on, but who knows? Uh, Elona writes in, how do we get the Giants off the field? What can we do to stop the Giants? Pressure on Daniel Jones. Take away Darren Waller. As I talked about this week on our keys of the game, those are the things you have to focus on. Getting pressure on Daniel Jones, get him under duress, take away Dan, Darren Waller, don't let him get those 20 yards or more receptions the Seahawks have been struggling with. If they do those things, then they very well should win this football game, especially if Saquon Barkley's not going to play. Gordon writes in, anyone worth trading for to help out our pass rush? Glad you asked, Gordon. There are several names. The first of those that comes to mind is Chase Young. Uh, I would love to see Chase Young in Seattle. I've made no secret about that, that I think that he would be a very good fit for what the Seattle Seahawks team is looking for. Uh, Chase Young is that first name that, that comes to mind. I know there's going to be some people that mention Patrick Queen, but I don't think the Ravens are necessarily going to move on from him. Another guy we talked about this week on the channel that is still available that isn't a trade option, but you could just sign for it would help as a pass rusher, would be Melvin Ingram, potentially. Look, the way things stand right now, Gordon, Seahawks cannot be content with how this pass rush is. The pass rush is really struggling. They can't get to the quarterback. And either one or two things got to happen. Either they start getting to the quarterback, or you go bring in more pass rushers. One of the two, something's got to change. We'll see what the Seahawks do. Today's show is brought to you by Odds Are. You may have heard of them. They're one of our new partners here at Chat Sports. Odds Are, let's, let's go ahead and make this clear. It's not a betting app, but what Odds Are is, 
is an AI technology app that gives you the bets they recommend. What you want to look for is these green values. And the green values symbolize a smart bet to make. The red values symbolize bets to stay away from. You go to oddsr.com slash NFL Daily. We are offering a 30 day free trial just for Seahawks Day viewers. And what happens is when you download Oddsr, you can see all the NFL games, MLB, NBA, all sorts of different sports, and find those smart bets to make. Because let's be honest, folks, luck is not strategy. We don't take your bet, we make you better at it. Sign up today. Terms and conditions do apply. 30-day free trial. It is yours at oddsr.com slash NFL Daily to sign up today. Virgil writes in, will we see Devin Witherspoon lay down the law this week? Spoon! Did you guys ever play that game Spoons uh, growing up? I remember playing that in like seventh grade in Mrs. Fritz's class. Uh, If Mrs. Fritz is watching, I loved playing Spoons. Uh, but Spoons was a great game, and Devin Witherspoon, I got to tell you, I've been very impressed with. Through the first two weeks of his NFL career, he has been phenomenal. He has been all over the field. He has been great, and I have no reason why to think he'll slow down. And he's getting better each and every week, too. So, yeah, I think Devin Witherspoon is going to be great. Watch out. Let's see what he can get done here this weekend. Peter. Virginia Tech Hokie writes in, what should Seattle do in order to get JSN the ball more? We haven't much of him lately. Peter, that's a good question. But here, here's what I would say. Uh, if JSN is rolling in this offense, if he's playing well, then that means there's other things going well with the Seahawks offense too. Um, the things that I would look at, if, if JSN is doing his part, and playing really good football, then that would mean that DK and Lockett and Kim Walker and those guys are playing well as well. So, personally, uh, I don't think you need to force it necessarily. You just need to get everybody on the same page, and JSN's time will come. I'm not that concerned. I think he's going to be just fine. Nick Fury, hashtag Seahawks, hashtag Papa Seahawks. Y'all are still trying to call me Papa Jones? I've been doing this show like a year now, and y'all are still trying to make that a thing. Whatever. Uh, With Jamal Adams and Tariq Woolen, look like they're coming back. What expectations do you have for the defense? Be better than what they are now. Get the pass rush going. Pass defense step up. That's what I want to see. I don't think I'm asking too much. But that's all we really need to see is the Seahawks do that, and uh, they do those things, they'll be a lot better football team. We don't ask for much around here. I just want to see this team figure it out, and uh, I think they can. Make sure to join us coming up Monday night, 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on Seahawks Today. We will be live for the Monday night football matchup. If you can't watch the game, don't worry about it. Join us. Myself, Tyler Smith, Schmitty's going to be here with you. And uh, we are going to have an entertaining time. I can promise you that much. We'll have a few drinks on hand. We'll break down the game as it happens. Join us Monday night live right here on Seahawks Today by Chad Sports. We will see you then 5 p.m. Pacific time live right here on Seahawks Today. Good time for a couple more questions. Delona writes in, what is the key to pressure on the quarterback and get the Giants off the field? How can we take advantage of both sides of the ball? Okay, that's... That's a loaded question there, Ilona. Uh, a lot of a lot of parts and no commas. Who needs commas? Uh, let's go one by one here. What is the key to getting pressure to the quarterback? Getting there. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, taking going through the offensive line. Maybe it's sending an extra blitzer, uh, a, a safety, whatever it may be. It's getting there. Next part, uh, get the Giants off the field. I think it's taking away Darren Waller. It's getting pressure on Daniel Jones. And uh, how can we take advantage of both sides of the ball? I I think, personally, it comes down, what I'm looking for is methodical game. Run the football, wear out clock, 
you know, makes life easier on your defense and shortens the game a bit. You do those things, you win, Ilona. Uh, Tyler Lockfit. Nicely done. Trayon Jones is off to a slow start. Will the Seahawks regret paying him? Oh, it's week three, and we're already getting this question. Goodness. Look, I was very high on Trayvon Jones. I was excited when the Seahawks signed him and paid him, but it's way too early to be sitting here with regret about about Draymond Jones. It's only a matter of time. He'll figure it out. I think things are going to be okay for Draymond Jones. Eventually, his motor gets going here. I'm not overly concerned. It's going to take time. He's still learning the new system. Was it a mistake to sign Draymond Jones? No, it wasn't a mistake. What do you guys think? Why for yes, in for no, weigh in the comment section. And uh, tell me what you think here on this edition of Seahawks Today. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on Monday. Smitty will be here as well. If you miss out, I mean, you are a loser. I'm kidding. Be here. Please, you won't want to miss it. It's going to be a great night, Monday night. Let's cheer on the Seahawks to victory together. We'll see you then. Thank you.